Hello good people and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn hours saved every day. In this short video, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic total using index and match. So this is my sales data. I have some products here and I have sales values for four months. What I want to achieve is in a drop down list when i pick any product i should get the total sales for these four months so it is dynamic so as i change the product the total sales also updates and we are going to learn how to do this shortly so we'll begin by inserting a data validation or a drop down in the cell that feeds on the list of products. If you want to do this with the mouse, a data validation is located under data. And when you come to data tools, you see this icon, you select data validation. The shortcut is Alt DL while standing in the cell. So when you press Alt DL, it lands you in this data validation dialog box. The default is any value which means the cell accepts any value but we want to put in a list so we'll choose a list and then we'll point excel to the source of the list which is our list of products so we'll click and then we'll click ok so what this means is that when you come to the cell you are forced to use the list of products so i'll choose bananas for now and i'll proceed to calculate the total sales for bananas to calculate the total sales for bananas, I need to identify three things. The first one is my results area. The numbers zone where the sales will be added from. So this range from C6 to F9 is my results area. Next, I need to know which row number corresponds to the product I have selected. So example, if I select bananas, Bananas is in the third row, so I'm going to use match to fetch this row number and then I'll use sum to add this up. So we begin. I'll start with equal to sum and I'll introduce index. And when I introduce index, I'm going to give index my results area. So I select this whole range C6 to F9. I'll bring my comma and I'm going to use match to give me the row number that bananas is sitting in. So I'll introduce match and match requires a lookup value. So the lookup value is bananas. Now when I select bananas, I need to match bananas with the list of products. So I'll bring my comma. The list of products now becomes my lookup array. So I'll select the list of products. I'll bring a comma and then I'll choose zero for exact match. So this is going to return a row number. If I highlight this and I press F9, realize that it will give me row number three. If I chose grapes, it will give me four and so on. So once I have this, the next argument is to provide the column number. Here, we need the four months. So we are going to force a zero. This means that Excel is going to return the four numbers at a go. So we'll put zero for column. And once we are done, we'll close for index and then we'll close for sum. So when I hit enter, I get 193. So now let's test. If I choose apples, I get 285. If I choose grapes, I get 218. Well, a quick way to do this is you can do Alt equal to, and then you can confirm the numbers. So please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more videos, you can send add to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list. We send videos directly on Mondays and Fridays to your WhatsApp. Or you can visit our YouTube channel, Excel Hacks for Productivity. 
click subscribe for notification of new videos or visit our Facebook page and give us a like. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.